is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the, name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so questions on the project. My name is Bob Henicus. I am a science teacher. I, uh, I actually thought about teaching when I was a kid. I was a chemical engineer for about 35 years and did that. Worked for Shell Oil Company, for Maritim Company in Air Liquide. Had a ball with all of them. and It was a fun journey all over the world. Been to about 60 different countries and most of it business related. And then God came to me and sort of talked to me and said, Bob, I want you to give up chasing around the world and uh, doing what you're doing and come teach my kids. A global crisis is coming. When thousands of engineers retire over the next few years, there just won't be enough younger people to take their place. However, a high school right here in the Mid-State. We at St. Dominic thought this would really be a neat opportunity for us. Okay, so questions on the project. Due February 1st, due with a test. Just aren't enough engineers in the United States. The quality of folks and the folks, kids that are interested in engineering just isn't sufficient. And so the U.S. government, knowing that this was going to be an issue for the future, started a group called Project Lead the Way. Project Lead the Way is a national program that I find to be absolutely outstanding. And this is a program to get kids interested in learning about engineering and science and math at a very young age, allowing them to understand they'd be good at it and allowing them to become future engineers, scientists, mathematicians, physicists. If you follow these instructions exactly, so you don't want to build that bottom piece yet, what you want to do... I think St. Dominic's wants very much to really take care of their students and put them ahead. We're trying to always have make sure we have our students be prepared for entering the workforce at whatever point in life they do that. Uh, for us, it's then delving into these engineering classes. All of them are a leg up. They know how to use Excel. They know what an engineer does. They know what drafting is. They know what design is. And all of a sudden in their classes, they're way ahead. They know what they're doing already. And it's not near a steep learning curve for them in college. I would start trying to build assembly files. I would start trying. Our administration here, well before they hired me, was thinking we really want to build a technical base. And they brought in all the resources needed went out and funded the program and put it together. And I was just lucky enough to be here at the right time that I got to teach it, which is a really dynamic and great fit. Go to work. And I have absolutely loved every minute of that, doing this.